Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're gonna be speaking about the ways in which you can actually use a diaspora mortgage in Ghana. So guys, if you're interested in finding out all about diaspora mortgages in Ghana, then make sure you stay tuned. If you haven't done so far already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into it. What can a diaspora mortgage be used for, right? So typically a diaspora mortgage can be used to purchase property, right? And it's a home purchase. So most banks that do the diaspora mortgage will call it a home purchase. So i.e. you are looking to purchase a property that's either completed or it is off plan, so it's pre-construction, you're looking to purchase it for residential purposes or to buy it to actually generate some rental returns by actually renting it out whilst you're not living in Ghana, right? Ghanaian banks are well aware of this. So in the UK, for example, we actually distinguish between the two residential and buy-to-let mortgages, but in Ghana, they do not, right? So you can get a diaspora mortgage and it is fully okay for you to actually rent it out whilst you're not there. That is the reason why it's called a diaspora mortgage, right? But there are some downsides and we will be going into this there are definitely some downsides because they actually understand and they've built in the fact that you don't live in Ghana already into their interest rates right yes a diaspora mortgage can be used for home purchase that is the most common reason why people use a diaspora mortgage so purchasing property off plan or already constructed right you can get a diaspora mortgage also for land purchases right so if you have found a piece of land that you're interested in buying and you do not have all the money available you can actually get some financing through the bank to actually help you to pay for that land purchase of course the bank will do the due diligence on the land and they'll do the title deeds um, they'll they'll check the title deeds they'll check if there's any encumbrances etc and uh yeah then you can potentially get the diaspora mortgage to help you the land purchase you can also use a diaspora mortgage for construction so if you are looking to build your own property from the ground up from scratch you can use a diaspora mortgage to help you to finance this now there are a number of different checks the banks will do to check and you know they'll make sure that you have the bills of quantity the bills of late like all of those things the bills of quantity in place so they've had the surveyors you've got the title deeds you've got the plans the architectural drawings all of that stuff the banks will make sure you have that in place before they'll give you this right but that is available for people non ghanaian residents that want to actually build a property in ghana you can use a you can get a construction loan from the bank to actually do this. If you have a property in Ghana already and you're looking to release some equity from it, maybe you found that the property has appreciated in value, you can also refinance the property through a diaspora mortgage to actually release some equity and get some cash out. Guys, I do hope you found this video useful. And if you're interested in finding out more about getting a diaspora mortgage in Ghana, then please do reach out to me. You can leave a comment below if you found this video insightful as well. But I do have a number of other videos available, so please do go and check those out. You you can also check out my ebooks you can check out my toolkit you can book a consultation with me there's so many ways for you to get in touch and also use my services as well now if you haven't done so far already please do make sure you like you comment you subscribe and you share this video as well but guys i will see you in my next video bye